us with the doll circle again, and today we're reviewing something new. This is Pulp's future daughter, and that's what they actually have quoted uh, with this doll. Uh, she is from Korea, from what we believe. I'll let you guys get a close-up look of her in the box. This is the Let's Go to School version, and I'm not going to try to even butcher her name, so I'll let you guys just read it on the box. You know me. I think it's like something like Yi Yo Lu Mi. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry if I'm incorrect with that. And I like how she's really detailed, and I like how on the box they have everything from like little like school buses and little scissors and stuff detailed around her name. She is wrapped in plastic on the inside, as you can see, to pre uh, preserve her hair in the way that it's gonna stay down with the bangs and stuff. Really cute, not obvious to see in there or if there's any glare on there at all. On the side of the box has a realistic picture of her with the bow on her head, which I cannot wait to put that on. And then on the back of the box, has words written obviously in Korean down here and it has the official Pulps gold sticker seal on the bottom. I love the coloring of the box on this and I cannot wait. All three of us got the exact same doll so we're all going to be opening this up together with you and showing her in more detail. Like I said, she's the future daughter of Pull Up, so she's not a Pull Up doll. But from what I've seen in other reviews and stuff, she's going to be very similar to just a regular Pull Up doll. Um, we, none of us have that one open, so if not, we would have had one next to her. But let's get her out of the box and get her closer look to her so that you guys can see what this doll is all about. We are in love. <laughs> That's the first thing we got to say. So we're going to show you in three different steps how this doll is boxed and unboxed and everything. So yes, we took all three of them out, but I'll let Robin start off first. So she is put in the box like a normal doll. She doesn't, she's not attached like through the hair, thank goodness, like a Monster High is. She's strapped around the neck and then like kind of strapped in. Pretty easy to remove. All her accessories are bagged individually and she came with this like, it's not a sticker, but it's like a little paper and it has like her, oh, her like bio a, like a and stuff. Like, kind of like a trading card. Yeah. yeah. And easy to remove all her accessories. Her legs come wrapped up. And she's really, and her hair, her hair comes like, it's supposed to be like long like the picture, but it's like section like pigtails, which also looks cute. But this doll's really heavy, like, she cannot, like I'm kind of sad it doesn't come with a stand. Yeah, but. no stand. I'm not removing this one's close. <laughs> After last time. But yeah, I like how it's all individually wrapped, and then I uh, hope you took a long enough shot so you guys can pause this. There's a lot of misspellings on this, but it's really cute, and it says, uh, Pope's future daughter. And then it says everyone should have a daughter like her, her charming eyes, or sparkling eyes, adorable nose, charming lips. And then they misspelled a lot, but I'll read it to you anyways. Uh, she would look perfectly cute in this innocent little girl and a lot of charm. Uh, it also says that she's supposed to be 10 years old. She is in elementary school and she likes a lot of stuff like learning magic, collecting dolls, of course, putting and she likes to eat her mom's rice. So that's really adorable on these little cards and it's like her in cartoon form. Now, I have her fully dressed here in mine with the hair unwrapped. So it's got this beautiful curls and they're so bouncy and her hair is such good quality. Like, it's so beautiful. And here I'm going to show you behind her wig, behind her hair, it is a sewn on wig cap. I don't know if you can get close in there. The wig cap is glued to her so it's not. Yeah, it's glued on. So if you guys wanted to give her a new wig, you'd have to cut it off. Now, as you can see, there's a little, like, button right underneath here. Like, let me see again. Oh, yeah. There's a little lever right here. And you're probably wondering, what does this lever do? I will show you. So, Chase, will you get a close-up of her eyes? Thank you, Kara, for holding the doll. Tilt. Yeah. Can you see her eyes moving? Yes. Her eyes move left to right. A normal pull-up doll, you can close one eye, blink it. You can blink both eyes. You can move the eyes around. This one only goes left to right, but that's still awesome. We weren't even expecting her to do that. So, as you can see, she goes left to right. Awesome! And this is her with all of her accessories on, her shoes on. She has these cute blue kitten heels, and they look like they sound pretty good. I still be afraid if they fall off. Like I said, she is very heavy, though. And then she's got this headband, which does not stay on very well at all. As you can see, it's like barely stays on, but looks really cute on her. And she's got her little purse, which has a purse drawn on it. I'll let Kara show the accessories that it came with. So if you guys are familiar with Barbies and how the shoes feel like very plasticky and like squishy, that's what these feel like. And basically they just look like... You just leave it on the table. Okay. No, it's okay. So they look like that. And then 
You, of course, you have the little, it looks like a tote bag pretty much. That's what I was trying to think of. I can think of yeah, like a tote and then with a little designed purse on there. And of course the headband, which I'm pretty sure says her name. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does it say her name, and so is her skirt. That's really cool. I don't think, like, her clothes are probably removable, but they're all sewn together on there, so I don't want to take it off. <laughs> that would be also because I just don't have spare clothes for her to wear, so I don't really want to take yeah. her apart. But I love them, though. I love how everything's pieced and how everything just looks so well together. I like how she is heavy. I don't like that she doesn't come with a doll stand, which yeah. is kind of a negative for yeah. us. We're like, oh, she's a doll stand. <laughs> because she literally, well, she's top heavy. She can yeah. sit, but you can put, put her against like a book. Yeah. Something. But she is very sweet looking. Yeah, and I hear I'll let, Chase get, I'll let Chase get close up to her face so you guys can see. And again, her hair is just so soft. Like, I love it. Oh, where's the scissors? Oh, here it is. And I just love how her hair is so, so, so soft. Again, her eyes move left to right. That's awesome detailing. A lot of dolls don't do that, unfortunately. Um, I mean, like, whether you get an American Girl doll or a lot of, like, you know, the other brands, they just don't have that detailing. So that's one thing I've noticed a lot of dolls from Japan, Korea, that little something extra with the eyes moving really makes me love her more. And I love her school wear outfit. It's just so cute. And I love this bow, which unfortunately doesn't stay on her head very well, but that's okay. Well, her hair is, like... So, oh, I, love it. I know, and I like it here. I don't know if you guys can see. She has bangs, and then she has like these small little framed hair that goes around her face, and then obviously the curls that go down. So so oh, cute. Man. And I love all the accessories, oh, and I love, I love the it. box. Like I love the rosy cheeks. Yeah, yeah, like I love the detail of the painting on the face too. So again, overall, like if you guys don't have twelve dolls, I mean I recommend it. And I don't even have the regular size twelve doll. I will be reviewing one soon. I should be getting one the next week or so. So definitely check out reviews coming up for that. Uh, obviously, I'm in love with them. But like I said, Tuesday morning, I cannot emphasize enough, it has so many cool dolls there. Go check it out. For such a good price, this doll normally should run about $100. We got these for $40 a piece. So, really good deal. Um, as always, check our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm always updating there different toy hunts and different toy hauls, and obviously, many reviews that we all do. And then also, um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because then you can see all these wonderful reviews and toy hunts that we do. And comment below. Are you a fan of these dolls? I am. Like, I'm honestly, like, I love my Monster High dolls. I love my Ever After High. I'm going to be blended in all. I'm, I'm going in to these. So expect more reviews of Pull Up dolls. And I'm Yumi. Again, I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right. I'm probably not. <laughs> so thank you for watching, you guys, from all of us. And I appreciate it.